departing Nanaimo for Desolation Sound, it was becoming increasingly obvious that these next 659 miles were going to be vastly different than the 807 we had come so far. I read as many guidebooks as I could put my hands on. It was a two-day sail from Nanaimo up the inside of Vancouver Island bound for the fjords of Desolation Sound. Approaching Refuge Cove at the top of the Salish Sea in British Columbia, the mountains started getting taller and civilization started to feel a lot farther away. In my mind, this is where the true adventure started. Prior to this trip, I had either driven and or traveled by boat the west coast of North America. But this was something new for me. An uncharted sea, so to speak. Except for a very brief stint in Adak, Alaska, I had never been north of Vancouver, BC. Refuge Cove was a fantastic stop. We met a lot of wonderful people in a beautiful setting. Matt from the sailing vessel Shaola and the owner of the Refuge Cove Cafe greeted us like we were long lost brothers before serving up some awesome cheeseburgers and craft beers. If you are ever up this way, I highly recommend stopping in and saying hi. I figured I would hit the docks in search of local knowledge. As luck would have it, I met Clive and Jane on board their Catalina 30 Calypso. Oh, it's yeah. really close to being uh, slack. Yeah, which is, what time is it now? It's pretty close to what we're doing tomorrow. Yeah, 105. Yeah, so start again tomorrow, rethink the whole, or tonight, rethink the whole thing after a couple of beer. And <laughs> <laughs> so we're confident in our ineptitude. <laughs> All big birds. Since we were headed the same way, they graciously offered to let us buddy boat. The scenery was spectacular, reminiscent of an alpine lake. This whale was an awesome reminder that we were still on the Pacific Ocean. Clive's a retired railroad engineer, and Jane is a retired nurse, both hailing from Hornby Island, BC, a stop we had enjoyed just a few days earlier. When we met them, they had just started a summer cruise of the inside of Vancouver Island, through the Straits of Georgia, Johnstone, and Queen Charlotte. Clive had been through this area many times before, so we let him lead the way. His easy pace and knowledge of all the best spots to visit forced us to relax and enjoy the moment. One of the charming places we stopped at was Lagoon Cove, a little resort marina that features a cruiser's potluck. Here, the hosts provide the fresh shrimp caught locally in the deep waters nearby. It was my first experience with a cruiser's potluck, and I have to say, it was fun, delicious, and I look forward to doing a whole lot more of it in the future. Cheers, Cam. To our first boat. It turned out that the rapids I'd been worrying about for a couple of days, Clive led us safely right through them all. No dramas. Active Captain, the digital cruising guidebook I use, 
said Shoal Bay had excellent crabbing, nice hiking, and beautiful views. Unfortunately, smoke from the BC interior fires had begun to settle into the fjords. I was thinking that two out of three wasn't bad when I cockily promised a crab feast for the two crews. Good luck. Crab, it's what's for dinner. Yeah, don't mess up. Phil called me out as usual. One crab. It's a lot of work to haul those 45 pound pots up hand over hand from 100 feet of water. All right, so. Okay, so. Oops. Pasta for later? Yeah, spring onion, Hold on. truffle cheese, and crab pasta. It's gonna be delicious. We only got one, so that's the best way to make it go, uh, you know, stretch for a few four people. One crab. It's gonna be awesome. I'm here in Shoal Bay. I'm going up to the top to uh, see the view. So, feels really good to get out and stretch my legs. I haven't been out for a long hike since, well, I hiked around the city in Vancouver for, for a day. And I was actually pretty sore after that. But, uh, yeah, this is straight up like nature, adventure, rugged hiking. It's beautiful and it's a lot of fun. And it really feels good to stretch my legs out. So hard work, but worth it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be worth it anyway at the end. So it looks like I'm supposed to go left here. It's about a 2,000 foot hike. Uh, about four kilometers, I believe, but it's pretty pretty vertical. Then I come up and do a little morning, <coughs> morning jaunt. I just swallowed a bug. <coughs> All right, so here we are. We're, I'm pretty sure we're at the summit. Looks like here's where the trail goes out. It's gonna be some kind of like spectacular view. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fabulous. Too bad about all the smoke, but it's worth it. It is indeed a wonderful world. Thank you for watching another episode of Sailing the Sea Bear. I hope you have enjoyed it. 
Join us next time as we have a friendly cruisers race with Clive and Jane before Phil and I explore a ghost town. Until next time, fair winds and following seas.